Fabric Club, Michelle here. I am back again. Today I'm going to be making a specific kind of gift. And Christmas is coming up right now while I'm making this video, but you could actually use this gift for any occasion at all. So what I'm talking about is painting on mugs. I've been doing this for a few years now at Christmas, and these gifts always seem to be very well received, so I thought I would share it with the art club. I don't like to make videos where you have to go out and buy specific things, but this works so well that I thought I would show you guys. I have this box here of paints, and they're called Pebeo Porcelain. I think Pebeo was also the brand name I used for the t-shirt painting episode, which you can watch here. You paint on porcelain dishes. I usually just go to the dollar store or somewhere and buy plain white dishes. It would work on anything that's porcelain actually. Even with the varnish it's fine. You paint whatever you want on it and then you bake it in the oven. Make sure you get an adult to help you with that part and then it lasts. Some people that I know wash them in the dishwasher and they're fine all the time. It doesn't wash off. So let's try. So I have my mug here. I'm gonna lay it on a cloth so it doesn't roll around too much. I've got some paint brushes, I've got a pencil, I've got some water, and of course, all my little Pebeo paints. The idea of this mug is a little bit hard to explain, but try to understand, okay? When someone drinks their coffee in the morning, like this, there's going to be a mouth right here and it's gonna look like it's their mouth when they're drinking the coffee. So, first I'm gonna draw it. Now, the mouth I'm gonna make is gonna have a mustache and a, and a little goatee beard, so. I'm gonna make a smile first. Now, you'll have to scribble to make the pencil visible on there as you can see but it's best to use pencil because it's gonna wash off really easy now I know people online seem to use sharpies but my friend tried using sharpies and she said it didn't work so I just never bothered to try because I found this awesome paint so let's do a mustache that is bushy hangs down and some big kind of funny crooked teeth I'm not sure who this gift is going to be for and I'm not going to say on this video just in case they're watching um, let's put the mouth open looks like somebody laughing How about that I'm not sure if you guys could see for the glare. I'm sorry if you can't. You'll see once I paint. Okay, so I'm gonna start painting. You can refer to the episode on mouths and you could do any one of those mouths on the mug. And if you want to try the Sharpie thing, try it and let me know if it works because I've never tried it myself. So here we go. Now to make brown, I like to use red with a little bit of blue, which makes, what color? Usually makes purple. This is quite a dark purple. And then I put a little bit of yellow in that and it's a nice brown.
So that was my face mug. And like I said, you guys can make it super simple. I mean, I hope you guys aren't watching the episode and being like, well, I can't do that. Um, actually, you, you can. It's actually a lot easier than it seems to be. Especially when you draw it out first, that makes it a lot easier. So this is one of my gifts that I'm gonna be giving away. You're just chatting with your friend about Christmas. And then you take a little sip of your eggnog. <laughs> oh boy. You guys are gonna be like, Michelle, that's really scary. I'm sorry. <laughs> so let me know if you tried that funny mouth mug. <laughs> let me know if the person you gave it to liked it or not. I hope you guys have an awesome holiday. I'm gonna come up with a, a few more DIY gifts for you guys. So stay tuned on the art club and I will see you don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my episodes. Happy Holidays!